Do you have celiac disease? You're very likely to respond negatively and strongly to even small amounts of gluten in your food. As a result, you think twice before eating at a restaurant and scour carefully through the labels of edible products. Even if you don't have gluten-related medical conditions, you might consider trying a gluten-free diet. People believe it has amazing positive benefits like increased energy, weight loss, and improved health. But before you start grocery shopping, you need to know how certain foods might contain various forms of hidden gluten. While there's a standard label of gluten-free for packaged goods not containing it, these standards do not apply to every item that could be hiding gluten. In today's video, we'll be discussing all of these and more. One, chewing gum. Do you carry chewing gum with you often? Do you feel like you're able to focus better when you are chewing gum? If your answers are yes, you are in for a shocking surprise. Chewing gum would be the last thing you'd worry about containing gluten. It's so small that it feels inconsequential to even go through the ingredient list. But you need to be careful, as your favorite brand might be using a coating made of flour to cover the chewing gum. This helps make sure that the different pieces of chewing gum don't stick to each other in the packaging. You need to check the label to make sure the brand you're using doesn't contain gluten. If you want to avoid the risk altogether, it would be best to go for mints to help freshen your breath. Looking, Looking for, answers for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Wellness hit that subscribe button and, and join our millions of followers to stay up to date on all our great followers. bestie content. 2. Salad Dressings Whenever we talk about a healthy diet, salads almost always feature on it. They are indeed a great source of fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. The amazing part is that you get all of these without an overload of calories. But the biggest challenge with eating a salad for meals is that it can taste a bit blah if you don't use salad dressings. And that's where the problem starts. Store-bought salad dressings are generally high in calories. They could also be hiding gluten. The next time you reach out for a salad dressing, make sure it's gluten-free. Most brands that provide salad dressings use gluten-related products as thickeners. These include malt flavoring and malt vinegar. Soy sauce is also used as a part of salad dressings. These all come from wheat and barley, which are not free of gluten. When you choose a brand, you can look at the label to see if it's gluten-free. Sometimes, it's not always clear if the brand has gluten. It's best to look at the ingredients to see if any of them come from gluten sources, such as yeast, wheat, and barley, among others. 3. Alcohol When you're out partying, the last thing you want to think about is gluten. But if you're on a gluten-free diet, you have to make conscious choices while ordering drinks, especially beer. Most beers have gluten, as they are made using wheat or barley. You'll have to take care while ordering cocktails as well. While most liquors are distilled spirits free of gluten, other ingredients added to the cocktail may not be. Cider is another type of alcohol that may contain gluten. Surprised? Since cider is a product of fermenting juice, it ought to be the last beverage to contain gluten. But manufacturers tend to add other ingredients to enhance flavor, which may not be gluten-free. 4. Chocolate Candy I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it looks like you might have to give up on your favorite chocolate if you're going gluten-free. Most of the ingredients used to make chocolate are gluten-free. Your standard recipe items, such as milk, cocoa, and sugar, don't have any gluten. But some chocolate brands have malt in their products, which contains gluten. There are also chocolates with bits of cookies in them, which is another source of gluten. Some chocolate companies have brands that offer both gluten-free and regular variants. If they are made in the same factory, there is always the risk of cross-contamination. You will want to look at the chocolate label to make sure it is free of gluten. Maybe you can try a few recipes to make your own gluten-free chocolates at home. Don't forget to share the recipe with us! 5. Canned Soup First alcohol, then chocolates, and now canned soup! I promise we aren't on a mission to take away all comfort foods and beverages from you. But the truth be told, soups can carry your arch nemesis, gluten. Soups themselves may not have gluten, but the canned variety includes preservatives to increase their shelf life. Those preservatives are likely to have gluten in them. Some brands also use thickeners as part of their soup recipes. 
Such thickeners are usually wheat-based, which means you would find gluten in those products. Even a dry soup mix can have gluten products. You should check the ingredients for any type of soup that you are buying on the shelf. Of course, the best way to make sure there is no gluten in your soup is to make it yourself. You can make it in a large batch and freeze it for use later. Soups are the number one comfort food we like to eat when we are sick. Interested in knowing about certain other health-boosting foods you can consider when you're sick? Watch our video on 9 Foods You Need to Eat When You're Sick. 6. Oats Surprised to see oats on our list? Aren't they gluten-free? Well, they are. But when oats are harvested, there's always the chance of cross-contamination with wheat crops. If you need to be gluten-free, you should look for labels on oat products. It means the manufacturers have made sure the harvesting process did not result in such cross-contamination. It's not just oats where you have to look out for this label. This also applies to oat-based products such as granola bars. Unless the label says certified gluten-free oats, it's best to avoid those brands. 7. Instant coffee. No! Coffee can't hide gluten! This instant energizer is the most preferred morning drink for so many of us. Does going gluten-free mean you have to give up coffee as well? The answer is both yes and no. There's no doubt that coffee beans are gluten-free. Even after roasting and grinding, the final product doesn't contain gluten. But many instant coffee brands use ingredients that contain gluten as bulking agents. If you use flavored instant coffee, some ingredients are likely to have gluten in them. It could also contain powdered milk, which is a wheat-based product. We don't need to tell you how wheat has ample gluten in it. While you don't need to give up on coffee completely, you have to be careful if you're reaching out for instant coffee. 8. Skincare Products It's not just the food you eat that can have gluten. Even the products that you put on your skin could have gluten in them. If you tend to use hand sanitizer, especially after the coronavirus outbreak, you will need to check if it has gluten. They could have wheat derivatives or wheat germ oil in them. The same is true for other makeup and skincare products. Of course, you won't be ingesting gluten when you use these skincare products. But if you don't wash your hands properly after applying them, you may end up getting gluten inside your system the next time you have a meal or a snack. 9. Shampoo I was shocked when I first learned several shampoo brands have gluten in them. This is because gluten is considered good for your hair. The ingredients that go into making shampoo could include derivatives of wheat and barley. Some shampoos also contain grain-based oils and oat-based ingredients. When you scrub your scalp with a shampoo containing gluten, there is a chance it can get inside your body. You will need to be careful when using shampoo products with gluten in them. 10. Cheese and processed meat. Processed meat may not be the healthiest option you choose. But if you do eat processed meat, be aware that it could be high in gluten. Processed meat usually comes from grain-fed animals. Manufacturers also use various grains during the preparation of cold cuts. Your standard hot dog, salami, and liverwurst are all likely to have gluten. Cheese can also contain gluten. Manufacturers often use ingredients that come from wheat and barley as thickening agents. Some manufacturers use flour and shredded cheese so there's no clumping. This means you can't just pick up your favorite hot dogs or shredded cheese at the supermarket. You will need to check for the label that says gluten-free before you buy any of the cold cuts or cheeses. 11. Sauces and Condiments Soy sauce has become increasingly popular. If you are someone who loves using soy sauce in their dishes, you need to know it may contain gluten. This is because regular soy sauce has wheat in it. If you want to avoid this, look for wheat-free or gluten-free labels on soy sauce products. Or else, you can try other alternatives to soy sauce that are free of gluten. For example, tamari soy sauce is made using 100% soy and has no wheat in it. It's not just soy sauce, though, that hides gluten in it. Most sauces that you buy in stores are likely to have gluten in them. Several manufacturers add gluten-based thickeners to their sauces. Along with thickeners, these products may also contain other gluten-based ingredients, like certain artificial colors and added flavors. Gluten intolerance can wreak havoc on your digestive system. But is it the only sign that you're gluten intolerant? 
What are some other ways to improve your digestion naturally, along with going gluten-free? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos on gluten intolerance and digestion. Watch 14 Surprising Signs You're Gluten Intolerant. You can also try our video on 16 Powerful Tips to Improve Your Digestion Naturally. Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn about gluten intolerance. Have you tried a gluten-free diet before? Let us know in the comments below.